We blazing. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and I'm back again with my 6.8 quart dual blaze Kasori air fryer. Today, we're going to make some dual blaze fried chicken, guys. I got some legs and thighs that's marinating, and this is the you know, seasoned flour mix that I'm going to use. A southern buttermilk. Why not? This has been sitting in my pantry forever. So, how I feel to use it today. Let me show you how I season my legs and thighs, though, before we add this. I think we have three thighs and four legs. That should fit in the basket. Let me show you what I did to season this, guys. I put some oil, some avocado oil. Olive oil will be fine. Um, and then I put a little bit of this smoked paprika. I always love to put that on my chicken. And then I just put my go-to seasoning, which is pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. Let's put um, a little bit of that, of that on there, and then I'll let um, my flour seasoning do the rest. Oh, and I let it sit here for, uh, it was like three hours. Overnight would be best, of course, in your refrigerator. There are lots of seasoned flour out there. You don't necessarily have to use this one. Um, I know Kentucky Colonel is a favorite in my air fryer group, but... I mean, you got Hooters, you get, there's just a whole bunch of seasoned flour that you can use. And of course, you can make your own um, flour, you know, just use some flour, some garlic, onion powder, uh, salt and pepper, you know, that sort of deal. And you're good to go. Well, I like to use seasoned flours because if you're not used, used to making your own, it could be too salty. It could be not too salty. So this way, you know, you don't have to worry too much about it. By the way, I put it in a bowl today, but you could have easily put it in a double plastic bag or, you know, brown bag and shake it that way too. Either way is fine. By the way, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I'm going to flour them real good and, and I'm going to let it sit out for about 30 minutes so that the... The seasoned flour could just take hold on the chicken. You don't have to, but I notice it works. A it, it air fries a little better when you do that. Don't have to do it, but if you have the time, it would be that much crunchier. Trust me. So just get it good. Shake off the extra. And boom. Alright guys, so this is what we look like all floured up. Now all we got to do now is spray some oil on there. Now I'm going to whip out my Evo oil sprayer. I'll show you that in a second. And we're going to spray both sides and that's all the oil we'll need. That's why air fryer chicken is more healthier than um, regular uh, deep fried chicken because you're using significantly less oil. Some, some get confused of no oil. It's just less oil. That's all. By the way, guys, like I said, I use avocado oil. The reason why I use this over olive oil is because it has a higher smoking point. I think olive oil at 400, it may start smoking. I've not had any problems with the air fryer, but I know olive avocado oil. And whether you have avocado oil or olive oil, you'll be fine. I prefer avocado oil because it has a higher smoking point. But if you use olive oil, that's fine. I've not seen any, witnessed any smoking in a basket air fryer with olive oil. But let's say if I was using an indoor grill that can go, you know, 500 degrees, like say for instance, I don't know, my Ninja grill, then I would, I would definitely recommend to you use uh, avocado oil over olive oil. But, you know, an air fryer is fine. But if you buy this, you just don't have to worry. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Whatever you're using. And this is my Evo oil sprayer, guys. You just have to buy this and you'll be done. This will last you 5, 10, 15 years for sure. Link will be in the description. And so all I do is take my sprayer and just spray. Now, this, flour, this seasoned flour is not white. But to give you an example of what you need to do, if this flour was white, you would just spray till you don't see any white flour anymore. That's how much oil you would need to use to spray. And you, of course, you're going to do this to both sides. 
And FYI, like I say, when you're frying this now, hopefully we won't have to turn this over because we're using the dual blaze. And we're gonna do some we're gonna do some shocking stuff today. So ladies, hold on, pull up your socks on this one. It, it, it's don't worry, it's coming. But if you have to turn it over, if you see any white spots like midway, go ahead and get your spray and hit it again. That's all. So we're gonna do this to the other side as well. Well, look at that. look at that. That looks good. Looks nice and golden already. Flip them over. I'll get that side. I figured I'd show you. Show you the spray in action. And ladies and gentlemen, this is all the oil we'll need to use, and that's why air fryer fried chicken is healthier than deep fryer fried chicken. Because that's all the oil that we'll need to use. It won't be submerged all the way, you know, swimming in oil. This is it. So, that's, you know, it's less oil than a deep fryer. Some oil, but, less, but much less. All right. Yeah, and like I said earlier, I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. You don't have to. You could start air frying now. If you have a couple of extra minutes, just let it sit there and let it just, just take hold and just let it sit there for 30 minutes to an hour. I'm just going to do 30 minutes. You can even put it in your refrigerator. Some people even do that for 30 minutes and, and it just, again, it just makes it a lot crispier. It's going to be crispy either way, but if you're looking for extra crispy, try this way. All right, so I'll be back in 30. To my new viewers, um, I don't usually use the crisper plate on this particular machine, but today I'm gonna use it. And on top of that, I'm gonna preheat for four minutes at 400 degrees and then add the chicken. Look at that. And guys, like I said, mostly most of the time I don't, well, 99% of the time I don't preheat. But I've preheated a couple times and I will admit it did come out a little crunchier, a little more golden when you preheated. But in my test, I just didn't justify the extra four minutes. It didn't look that much better. But today I feel like doing it. All right, just for fun, we're going to preheat manually and we'll get the chicken in. We'll use... Uh, Wi-Fi to command this machine. I'll just do it manually. A lot of times you don't see me do it. So we're going to go 400 and we're going to go four minutes. Start. All right, four minutes is up. And by the way, I don't know if all these pieces will even fit in here, but if they don't, I will just make the rest another day. Like tomorrow or the weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend uh, this weekend, so I'll just save it for then. No problem. I just wanted to make some fried chicken and dual blaze it up and see how it comes out. So we won't be able to, I think we'll be, we'll, yeah, we'll have one piece left of thigh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Give it some room. Come on, give me some room. Okay. All right. So we're pretty crammed in there. Two thighs, four legs. Let's get this closed right away. I don't want that heat to escape. To my new viewers and subscribers that may not know, this Kasori air fryer can, doesn't have to, can work off of your Wi-Fi meaning your um, network, and it can then work off of your Echo or Google devices. So it can be totally hands-free, or you can use your cell phone to turn it on and off and change the temperature and time and all that good stuff, pause and all that good stuff. So I'm going to use my Echo device and be totally hands-free because we can do that. So turn on Kasori Air Fryer for 24 minutes at 380. Air frying for 24 minutes at 380 degrees. All right, that was my Echo device. Um, <clears throat> now. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Oh, no, I wasn't talking to you, ma'am. 
I was talking to my audience. Now, I don't know, I don't think I'll have to flip, but I will check it at, I don't know, at 20 minutes with four minutes left, and we'll see how we're looking. I'm hoping I don't have to flip, but if we have to flip, that's fine. Now, the reason why I put the crisper plate in, guys, I normally don't, but I think at 24 minutes, the crisp, without using the crisper plate, it would have burnt the bottom. And um, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't want to go there. Chicken wings, it worked fine, but I think with these bigger pieces, I don't know because the problem is, is let's say the. Um, I know the top definitely needs, you know, if twelve minutes, if at least. But I think twelve minutes on the bare bottom of this machine would probably burn the chicken on the bottom. So that's why I put the crisper plate on. I might be wrong, but wasn't willing to uh, test that out today. <laughs> you take one for the team and let me know. <laughs> All right, this is at 12 minutes. I usually, um, if I wasn't using this air fryer, I would flip them over at 12 minutes. And they look really good right now. But the question is, how does the other side look? Yeah, the other side is not done, so... We are going to have to flip. And that's not a problem. Now, as you can see, guys, the other side seems to be getting done. Come on, flip over. So, I don't know if you'll need the whole 12 minutes. So, that could be a positive as well. But we'll see. I'll check back in seven minutes and just see I won't do that on camera I'll just check myself and report to you what my findings are when we're all done okay we got four minutes left this is what we're looking at at 20 minutes and it looks very good actually so potentially we could have saved four minutes with the dual blade let's, let's take a check 162 168 yeah 170, 171, yeah. Oh, you can't see it. 174, yeah. We're good to go, 20 minutes. My subscribers know what I'm about to say. This could be you. I'm gonna make some fries, so I'll let them rest on this real quick. All right, cleaned it out real quick. Super easy as usual to clean. So we're gonna make some fries real quick. Got some shoe strings that uh, got a little frost bit. That didn't close it right. It happens, guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's fine. It's gonna cook just fine. No shake. Did about 14 minutes. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. I'm ready to eat, guys. Alright, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. Let's try one of these drums. Try a drumstick first. Then we'll get the thigh. Let's analyze it. Looks mighty fine to me. You first. You got it? Mm-hmm. Very good. Good flavor. Nice and moist. Yeah. I like it. All right, let's try the thigh out. Let's analyze that. This could be you guys. You see it. All right, you get the first bite. You got it? All right. 
Mm. That is good. 20 minutes of your life. Just too good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try some fries. Now I got some sriracha ketchup here, guys. I'm dipping it in. You first. You got it. Perfect. 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 Mm -hmm. So, guys, I'll leave a link in the description to this dual blaze Kasori air fry it's absolutely fantastic I'll leave a link in, um, in the description as well to my uh, meat thermometer because if you don't have one you definitely need one if you have an air fryer and you're cooking meats you definitely want to check till you get comfortable um, you won't need it all the time I mean not especially for fried chicken if you if you made air fryer fried chicken two or three times you won't need it then you'll just know but for your first time yeah for sure um, and yeah, and all I did was 12 minutes on one side at 380 and eight flipped it and eight minutes on the other. And then at that time, at that moment, I want you to temp it. And if it's at temp, pull it. Um, or if you look at it and you want it a little more crisper, you can do an extra four minutes. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. So you can either do 20 minutes or 24 minutes. So um, like I said, the preheat helped, but yeah, that was an extra four minutes, but the preheat helped, but I've, like I said, I've done fried chicken in the air fryer mi millions of times, and it came out just as, uh, kind of just as good, um, without preheating, but I just felt like doing that today, I, I know some of you like to preheat, so I just wanted to join the bandwagon today, but not necessary, but you can if you want, knock yourself out, <laughs> but anywho, I'll leave in the comments my playlist of dual blaze recipes. And I think we're over 20 now, which is crazy, right? And as you know, some of you don't know, um, this machine unfortunately didn't come with a cookbook. That's why I put together this playlist so that you can have dual blaze specific recipes. Because if you didn't know by now, this machine cooks from the bottom as well as the top. So that's kind of unique in uh, standalone air fryers. But enough of me talking. I'm all set here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, hey, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.